Hi guys! <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. I got an, another unexpected day off, so I am out on a little ski. Just on a back trail that's been closed. Used to be a snowmobile trail, but there was some flooding, so now the trail is closed and it's quite lovely for skiing and not seeing anybody. The sun was out, which I was very excited about. Um, but as soon as I got out here, it's went behind a bunch of clouds, but it's still quite lovely out here. I was passed by one snowmobile, but other than that, I haven't seen anybody else out here, which is just perfect. I've been really enjoying the silence and just the wind in the trees. I haven't had a day really to myself in weeks, <laughs> weeks. I apologize for not having made any videos lately. Um, it's been busy. We had Christmas, of course, and New Year's. Um, let's see, Forrest was sick, then I was sick, then Forrest was sick, and then I was sick. <laughs> Luckily, the two times I was sick, it was only for basically a day or two. Um, I tend to bounce back pretty quickly. So, uh, we have not had much snow this year. It's very, very unusual. Um, I think we've only had like really two sort of major snowstorms and then it's been raining and melting and just it's been a really really a strange winter so far. Um, I'm glad that we do have some snow so that I can go skiing. But yeah, let's do some exploring. Saved me a couple miles and finally warming up. <laughs> Had to get my blood flowing. I just came to a very pretty stream coming out. I don't think I'm going to try to climb down the hill, it looks a little sketchy, but I'll show you. The trick, of course, when filming in the winter is that your batteries die a lot faster. I'm warm enough now that the breeze feels good. When I first started, it was very cold. <laughs> I frostbit my chin and all my fingers uh, quite a few times, so they freeze really fast now. When I used to have my sled dogs, the uh, I fro froze the end of my chin right here and it turned all brown and then I also froze my thumb one time and that turned actually black and uh, it was probably a good two or three months before I got it <laughs> back to a normal color. Um, it was this kind of dead feeling, it was very numb and uh, I just kept constantly just massaging it and just rubbing it and just working at getting the blood flowing back there and amazingly it, uh, it worked. <laughs> Still have my thumbs. I'm across these tracks, and they're not ones I've normally seen before. They definitely have claws, but they are definitely not wolf or coyote or bear. I wonder if they could be wolverine? I don't know. If you know, comment down below. You can see up there where they kind of are dragging their feet a little bit. And the way that they're, I don't know, it's just different that I've seen. I guess it could be maybe a uh, lynx. I don't think I've ever seen lynx tracks, although they look a little bit big. Hmm, what do you think? See, we kind of have open water on the sides of the trail, which is very unusual. Um, right now it's third week in January. This is definitely not normal for the northern UP, UP of Michigan. So I don't see a lot of snow in the forecast either. I have a cabin rented in 
three or four weeks. And I'm going to be going to watch one of the big sled dog races in the area. And I'm really hoping it's not canceled. Several of the other sled dog races around have been canceled due to lack of snow. So fingers crossed because I'm really excited and looking forward to going. my destination bridge. <laughs> the water's open. I'm gonna go down there, see if I can get some drone footage. Maybe have my muffin and a drink of water. Should have brought some coffee. Oh well. Wow. I feel like a little mini muffin is going to be very delicious right now, as well as some water, because I am thirsty. Okay, I'm about to go down this, <laughs> this hill it goes under the bridge with the river on the bottom. I'm going to try holding the camera so uh, you might get to see me fall. <laughs> you might, might hear some screaming. It probably doesn't look that steep from, from here, but um, there's some bumps and some trees and it's icy. <laughs> Fall number one. <laughs> Fall number two. <laughs> <sighs> That's reality. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to try the rest of the way holding the camera. <laughs> Ouch. That one ran to my back pretty good. I might be feeling that later. <laughs> Things I do for you. Okay. Finally got my skis off. I have to get some new skis or new blind bindings or something. I couldn't get them off. They were frozen. I have a really hard time with them. There's one, one of them. I have a really hard time getting my boot to click into. Sometimes it's rather embarrassing when there's people waiting for me and I just can't get it to grab in there. They were free. <laughs> so the price is right, but I feel like I ski enough now that um, I could spend some money on some, some good ones. It's beautiful down here. I'll turn you around. The trick, of course, is that you're never really sure where the edge is. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten out here earlier so I could spend a little more time out here. As always, I have to be back for the kids after school. But truly blessed to be able to just take off for a couple hours today when I was supposed to be working.
It's started snowing now. I wanted to get more footage with the drone, but as soon as I put the drone up, I started getting a high wind warning. And then as I was bringing it back down, it started really snowing. So, I guess it's just officially lunchtime. <laughs> My little mini muffin. It's frozen. I'm wishing I had coffee. Getting chilly again. Time to get moving. So glad I got the drone down. The wind gusts have really picked up. It's a real snowstorm. <laughs> I don't know if this, the flakes are showing up on the camera. <sighs> I'm just laughing because I was just saying how we weren't getting any snow. I guess the weather gods heard me. <laughs> Woo! I love it. And I had my sled dogs, I used to love being out like at night with them. It wouldn't be like really thick snow, almost blizzard. We'd be the only ones out. Just like my headlamp, like a tunnel in the dark, just me and the dogs, and the steam would be coming up from their breath in big clouds. It was an amazing experience. I'm on a big long straight stretch. It's like two miles, mile and a half long. That takes forever. I used to run this with the dogs. I used to take forever on this long straight stretch because you can see the end. Woo! <laughs> but it takes forever to get to the end. I made it. <laughs> I'm in a uh, cricket. I don't think I've ever introduced you to cricket. Foxy's uh, transmission, as we know, is going. And uh, in the winter, I usually have to keep her into uh, high four, which slows her down even more and is harder on the transmission. So this is little cricket, my little RAV4. She goes through the snow good and is much better gas mileage. 
<laughs> this is how much snow we've gotten while I was gone. I am very happy about that. Kind of blizzardy out there. Well, that was really fun. I'm glad I went on that little adventure. And I love that what I thought was going to be a beautiful sunny day <laughs> um, turned into a very snowy day. So I got to see the transition and be out in it. <sighs> so uh, now I will head home and pick up the kids from school and go about my day. You know, I think that was just the right amount of energy that I had left. <laughs> I was struggling a bit at the end, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I think, you know, all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, I was just sick yesterday. So I don't know why I push myself sometimes. I just, I'm so used to just like ignoring pain and cold and all the things. So yeah, I would just had a 24 hour flu um, and which ended like yesterday afternoon. So <laughs> that might be why I don't have much energy. Anyway. Um, thank you guys for coming along with me. Um, like I said, I'm really looking forward to a vlog in February when I go to a dog sled race and I get to relive that. Um, it's a dog sled race that I did, I think I did it five times, the midnight run, um, which is the shorter version. There's a, a long version, which is like 240 miles, and then a shorter version, which is the midnight run, which is the race that I used to do. I started doing it when I was 13. And it's, uh, at the time it was 80 or 90 miles. I'm not sure. It might be different now. But anyway, I'm really excited about it. So keep an eye out for that vlog. And, um, yeah, give this a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, comment down below uh, how much snow you have in your area. Because I'd love to know. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.